Hey everyone, I'm uh, back behind the house in front of the shop door fighting off the mosquitoes that are really bad and uh, I'm here to not only introduce this video but a whole series of videos that I'm going to start working on and that is fixing up the basement from the dark cave that it was into a very usable shop space and uh, it's going to go through probably multiple videos to get that done, quite a few and I'd uh, really like to hear your input on some of the different steps um, right now we're going to be going back in the past, so certain tips that you're going to tell me um, or leave in the comments, I'll probably already be well past that step, but I'll let you know sort of when we're more up to date, and then if you do have any ideas, be sure to send those to me in the comments, on Facebook, or in email. If it's a link, you'll probably be best to send it in a private message or through Facebook or an email, because if you put it in the comments below, it'll probably just get shot right into the spam folder and won't actually make it to the comments. In this video, we're going to be cleaning the floors and then getting things painted, painting the floors and the walls. And then in the next videos, we're going to start talking tools and that's going to be exciting. I've got a lot of new equipment that um, I either have got or I'm getting. Uh, some of it's used, some of it's brand new, some big stuff that I've wanted for years. Um, this is a major step for me, getting my own shop. I've worked in multiple shops where none of them have actually been my personal shop and it hasn't been a long-term thing. I've had access to great shops, but this is going to be the first one that's all mine. And uh, once I walk out, it's the same till I walk back in. Nobody messing with your stuff, which is great. So, um, like I said, let me know what you think and uh, stay tuned. So, uh, enjoy the rest of the video. All right, let's get started. The entrance to my shop is right under the back porch of the house, which is where you enter the back of the kitchen. Um, so I come down the back steps and right into my little shop, which I like that it's separate. And I'm going to start this video out just sort of giving you a tour of the basement. That's the uh, future turning room, that little room to the left there, about 6 by 15 feet. That's the main room that you've seen in some videos so far. And this is the room you've seen less of. It's uh, piled up right now with the uh, new equipment and some lumber that I just kind of need to organize and assemble that new equipment. And we'll talk more about that soon. And that wall to the right is where the new sub panel is and where the metal lathe will end up going. The wall to the right of the clip right now is where I hope to do my clamping rack. Uh, replace that hot water tank and then the uh, oil tank there that's been removed from the basement. This is looking back in the shop from the door again and that is the chimney. Now I'm only showing you the last foot of removing this chimney but this chimney was about 30 feet or more of that up through the basement first floor attic and then out through the roof about six feet so I tore down two of those chimneys. That's the main main room of the shop again and this is what it looked like when it was time for me to get started after months. Uh, that's that same amount of wood just organized with all the nails pulled out and stacked up looks much better. So on to the painting. The, the clip I didn't, I couldn't find them or don't know if I filmed them was the first thing I did is I took a pressure washer and cleaned the entire basement, blasted the walls and the floors and multiple times using soap, scrubbing them and all that removed everything and uh, then painted the walls that are underneath the underground with the, uh, the bare waterproofing, masonry waterproofing paint. So you can see just painting the walls makes such a huge difference in the amount of light that is able to be reflected around the shop. And then that little opening, I pop that out, that's going to be my little hobbit door to get back and forth uh, from one side of the shop to the other in the back of the shop. And then here's the other side. This looks much better cleaned up. You can see the oil drums now gone. And then this is the paint that I used for the floors. This came from Lowe's called Sealcrete. It's uh, just a one part epoxy. And it's pretty good. I've scratched it up pretty good since I've painted the floor. But once I get the shop set up, I'm just going to go back in and roll another light coat over top of it. And then I should be good and not be sliding equipment around quite as much. And I just put this on with a roller. This is a pretty smooth roller, just a standard wall, 3 8 inch nap. The roller that I used for the walls was a very heavy nap because the uh, center blocks were so porous and so many rough spots. It was a three quarter nap. It's a crazy looking roller. And I forgot to take some shots of the, uh, the basement once it was all painted up. So enjoy this clip in the next one. Um, this gives you a pretty good idea of what it looks like. So much cleaner and so much brighter. 
and um, there'll of course be better lighting added in soon. And in the next video, I'm going to be moving in all my equipment. It was a very tough back-breaking work, but I was so happy to get it all in the shop. And this is one of the new mystery pieces of equipment I've been referencing. I'm pretty excited about it. So we'll talk more about that soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And if you're not already a subscriber, click on the red button on the screen now, and you will get updates when I post future videos. Thanks for watching.